Hey everybody, blessings to you. This is Pastor Ben here. Let me know if you see me, hear me well. Praise God. Give me some hearts and likes and do share, share, share. Shakaba. Let me know if you hear me clearly. If you hear me clearly, give me some hearts and likes. Praise God. Give me some hearts and likes. People of God, blessings to you. This is Pastor Ben here. It's good to be back home. Raban de Riscarabro, of course, there's a, a lot of wonderful things happening, going on right now, amen. So I can't wait to talk with you today, can't wait to hear from you. Praise God. Hey there, Tim, blessings to you, praying for you. Let me know where you're watching from, and in a minute, I'm just going to go straight into the Word. Uh, really, I need to start heading over to church, but I really needed to talk with you. It's been burning on my spirit. I really, uh, I'm so busy right now. So I've really had no other time but to come on right now. So all of you people that are up late or are going to be watching the replay, give me some hearts, likes, and do share, share. Praise God. Let me know where you are watching from. And in a minute, I'm just going to go straight into the word uh, that I have to share with you. Amen. We are living in such incredible, exciting times. Hallelujah. Zatarabo Soto. Rabanderescarabroska. Someone say thank you Jesus. In fact, uh, I don't want to take too long today be, uh, because I have to, you know, go over to church. <laughs> Amen. But the Lord is good. Amen. That's right, child of most high. Hello, S.L. Caldwell. Hello, Carla. Hello there, Heather. Zabarabroska. Let me know where you are watching from. Well, praise God. This is Pastor Ben Lim here. And uh, I want to talk uh, to you about some things. And, uh, you know, you may have noticed it's the first time I'm not playing any music uh, as I'm sharing this uh, message here today. Uh, but really, I want to I want to talk to you. Uh, the title of this message today is Did the Prophets Miss It? Okay. Did the Prophets Miss It? And uh, I want to talk to you today uh just uh about uh this question about false prophets wrong prophets prophets that are inaccurate or accurate prophets that seem to have missed it um and uh, i want to talk to you uh just about a number of things of what i believe is what's happening right now in the spirit realm and behind the scenes all right someone say amen and uh you know so uh actually uh all day today the lord's been speaking to me and uh, probably tonight or tomorrow, I'm actually going to write down, uh, it's incredible. The Lord's been showing me uh, about 10 to 12 different things to expect in the next 3 to 6 months, okay? 10 to 12 different things to expect in the next 3 to 6 months. Now, I'm not going to share any of that with you right now. I'll probably share that uh, probably in a few days, okay? In the next few days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, and also one of the things the Lord has been speaking to me is 12, uh, I, I'm actually praying into, there, I believe there's 15, some say 15 obvious reasons why you do not want Joe Biden to be your elected president, okay? 15 obvious reasons why you do not want Joe Biden to be your elected president, all right? And, uh, there's, there's almost another statement that the Lord's downloading in my spirit as well. But, uh, you know, I want to talk to you today. Did the prophets miss it? Okay. Um, first and foremost, you, you do not, if the prophets, listen, either the prophets, the mainstream major prophets, all right, and I'm not just talking about American prophets. I'm talking about Sadhu Sundar Singh from India. Uh, I'm talking about Prophet Chris Oyokalale from Nigeria, Africa. There are so many international world-renowned prophets that have prophesied Donald J. Trump as being not only uh, not only being the 45th president, but w having a second term, winning this current 2020 election, okay? There's multitudes of prophets, not just national, American national prophets, but international prophets, are you hearing me? Uh, that have prophesied, that have agreed, that have declared that uh, President Donald J. Trump is meant to win two uh, terms. So either 
either all of these mainstream, all these major prophets, even in Africa and Korea and Asia and, and America, Shakara, that have agreed with this common corporate word of God, either we are all wrong and we are all off and we are all deceived and there's a lying spirit or a spirit of confusion that's come, okay? Either that's what's taken place, or there's something that God wants to release, and there's something that God wants to entrust us with to push back in the spirit realm, okay? I'm telling you, people of God, um, you do not want the prophets of God to be wrong about this. I mean, it, it's so funny, uh, you know, I've been watching a number of... Uh, uh, mainstream prophets, you know, number of friends of ours, you know, um, Sid Roth and and Lance Wall now, and just you know, number of major mainstream prophets, men and women of God that I love, that I have come to befriend and I highly respect, and that actually have a reputation and a respect, not like most prophetic people, <laughs> but uh, you know, so in the last few days, uh, of course, I'm watching a lot of the fake news avidly. I'm watching the fake news, I'm studying, I'm praying, watching the fake news, I'm watching uh, right-wing, true news, non-biased uh, news, okay, and I'm, I'm listening to what are all the prophets of God, what, is, what else is going on in the church world, and what are all the low-level prophetic people on Facebook and social media talking about, <laughs> um, and of course I'm praying and I'm talking to the Lord. But, you know, you do not want the prophets to be wrong about this. I'm telling you, you you do not want, and it's almost like there's a number of people that that really want to shove it in the face of most of these evangelical uh, people, uh, pastors that have been very vocal behind Trump 110% since day one and since day three, because face it, most Christians... Uh, and even now, uh, but most Christians four or five years ago, we were not behind Trump and we were not loud for him, okay? Um, of course, we were offended. Listen, we were offended uh, by the tweets. We were offended by some of the mannerisms, by certain things from the past. Uh, but, you know, uh, you know, God God is a liar if... Uh, <laughs> if if there is not a time where prophets are not unusual and prophets do not offend. You know, prophets are always out of your box and out of your mindset. Prophets, prophetic people, are always out of your mindset and unusual times will always require unusual measures, unusual acts of God and acts from heaven. Amen? So I'm, I'm talking to you today. Because you do not want the prophets of God to be wrong. Because if, if that's the case, then the church is in major error. The church is in, is in major... Uh, we are in a real rut and a, a bad place. Uh, majorly, okay? So, it's just so funny and interesting to see so many people... You know, it's, it's like they want to shove it in our face and say... Look, you were wrong, or look, just admit that you missed it. And I want to tell you right now, all right, I, I don't know any real man or woman of God that is not humble enough to admit that they're wrong or to admit that they missed it and to repent publicly and corporately. I don't know any man or woman of God. And in fact, I will as well. But I refuse to believe that we missed it. That I missed it. I refuse. And honestly, it's not even over. The fat lady has not even started seeing yet. Okay? It's not even over. In fact, this is just the beginning. In fact, there is an incredible, incredible, ominous, uh, genius plan underneath and behind the scenes that's taking place right now. While so many people are being, are quick to judge and quick to throw stones and quick to false and condemn and 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 judge these prophetic words I'm, I'm i'm telling you it's the elections are not even over yet okay people of god if the elections were over on election day november 3rd then 
Obviously, Donald J. Trump is the winner. Obviously. Obviously. You, you look at the electoral votes and you look at the swing states. It's so obvious that Donald J. Trump won, but what did they do? They froze the election so that they could stuff the ballots like a burglar on a midnight, uh, a midnight crisis, stuffing their bag with Christmas presents to bring to their children. And of course, obviously, uh, the left and the Dems, they planned this like they planned the pandemic of COVID for years. Rakata. And at the right time, uh, they froze the election because they knew that they're losing. That Joe Biden was absolutely losing. So what did they do? They froze the election. Chaos, chaos, mayhem. And as we all know, okay, they, they cheated. Fraud. Lots of fraud. Lots of fraudulent activity. Farce, fake, evil, corrupt <laughs> nonsense. I mean, we're seeing it all around, okay? And uh, But still, the elections are not over. I'm telling you, the elections aren't over. And... Uh, Donald J. Trump is going to win, okay? And I'm telling you right now, you you people that are Democrat, that are leftist, that are Republican, Greenpeace Party, listen, I honestly don't care about your political background or your stance. But we as Americans, and especially if I'm talking to you Christians, we as people, human beings, we need to desire for a real, honest election, real, honest, integral uh, uh, procedures and methods to take place. And I'm telling you, uh, God has the last word. He has the last laugh. Rakata, there's a divine setup underneath and behind the scenes for the greatest comeback in history. Amen. And I'm telling you, the U.S. economy, we're going to come back even stronger. Okay. Many people are about to get indicted and about to be imprisoned. I'm telling you. Lots of people are about to be indicted and prison. We're about to see social media, big tech reform. Okay, of course, officially yesterday, Candace Owens came out publicly and, and publicly stated that she is filing a lawsuit against uh, Mark Zuckerberg and fact checkers and Facebook. We, we're in the days of social media, big tech reform, and censorship and control, and things are shifting, okay? I'm telling you, it's leaning, I, and even right now, I could feel the Holy Ghost leaning to the right side right now, because it's just like, there's a weight of of righteousness that's coming in and crushing idols and principalities. But, listen, people of God, if I'm wrong, and I missed it, I've, I've no problem repenting and coming out publicly and saying, I'm sorry, I missed it. I was wrong. But you, MSNBC, Fox News, ABC, CNN, fake Kool-Aid, drinking, intoxicated, Jezebel, uh, COVID, fury, fear-mongering, all right, liberals, you people, you need to listen that... The election's not over. And what they're feeding you, once again, is not the truth. And I'm telling you, people of God, uh, Donald J. Trump is going to win. And I, listen, and if I'm wrong, then I'll come out and repent publicly and I'll apologize. And I know so many other men and women of God, prophets, prophetic people will do the same. But I'm telling you... You don't want you don't want the corporate majority of a prophetic voice to be wrong. You don't trust me. Not in this matter. Not in this issue. You do not want us to be wrong. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. We all need to be humble, and we all need to uh, we all need to do things in the right attitude and spirit. I absolutely agree. But you do not want us to be wrong in this matter. I guarantee you. Okay. I promise you. And right now I'm writing 15 obvious reasons why you do not want Joe Biden to be elected as your president. All right. And I'm just going to read a few and then I'm just going to go back to my topic. Number one, Joe Biden is pro-choice and supports abortion, the murder of innocent babies, even to the day of birth. 
Number two, celebrity witches, Satanists, Luciferians, Illuminati, they publicly endorse and support and back up Joe Biden. Number three, Joe Biden is heavily involved with Antifa and other instituted domestic terrorist groups. Number four, Joe Biden has Joe Biden has openly been racist and so and is supported by the white supremacist group, an example, KKK, and has done more harm for the black and the minority community in the United States. Number five, Joe and his son Hunter Biden. <laughs> And other family members of the Biden family, they've made co continual corrupt deals for many years with China, Russia, and many other countries. These are just few of the reasons why. You do not want Joe Biden to be your next president. But I want to tell you three things right now, okay? Three things. Um, Shatarabababa. Three reasons why God will not let you down right now. I want to give you three reasons why God will not lie and let you down concerning this matter, okay? Concerning this matter of did the prophets miss it? Are the prophets wrong? Joe Biden won. Donald J. Trump lost. It's not a landslide. I want to give you three reasons why, okay? God will not lie and he will not let you down. Number one, God will not lie and he will not let you down by, by all these prophetic voices being wrong. Number one, because it's a bad testament to who he is. And it's a bad testament to the church and to the prophetic movement. All right. Listen, it's, it's a bad testament, bad witness. Okay. And again, you may agree, disagree. You may say, Pastor Ben, evangelicals and Christians you know, idolizing Trump and being so pro-Trump like it's a cultic religion, that is a heinous wrong. And you may, you may say that, okay? All right? However, it's a bad testament on God and the church and the prophetic movement if all these leaders, prophetic voices are wrong in this matter. It, it makes God look bad, okay? Either God... I, I, either the prophets are all misled and are liars and don't hear, okay? And we have all judged corporately incorrectly. Um, why would the Lord do this? To shake, to test, to purify? All right, number two. The second reason why God will not lie or let you down concerning this election and this matter, number two, is that you do not want Joe Biden and Camilla Harris to be over the United States of America. All right. Listen, of course, we see in the book of Romans 13 that God allows, ordains leaders to be in government and to be rulers. OK, and he even uses uh, people like Pharaoh, people like Nebuchadnezzar, heathens. Um, evildoers, he, he uses people and he allows them to be in office. I, I've been reminded of Romans chapter 1, where the Bible says that God gave us over to our sin's desires. Or you, you see uh, in the example of King Saul, where because the people so wanted a king, God gave them what they wanted and what they asked for. And I'm telling you, I know so many blind, deceived uh, corrupt, uh, worldly, carnal people want Joe Biden and Camilla Harris to set up a new world, one world order, okay? And so God just may give us what the flesh and the world desires, but I believe that God is wanting to extend his hands of mercy. Someone say mercy. I believe that God is wanting to release mercy over America and an open window of revival and awakening, not tyranny, not control, not judgment, and not evil to run in, in America and the nations abound. I still believe that this is not the end times. I believe that this is the beginning of times. All right. And number three, why God will not lie or let us down concerning this matter of the election. Number three, the third reason is I believe that God is not yet done with Donald J. Trump and his family. 
All right. God is not done with Donald J. Trump and his family. Okay. There's much more that God wants to do with this man and his family and him being in office and the, the cabinet and the administration. I believe that wholeheartedly. I believe that God is far from being done from the usage of Donald A. Trump. I believe that, people of God. You tell me, what other president in American history has had so many pastors, uh, men and women of clergy, surround him and pray? And you tell me, what other president has had so many attacks, satanic rituals and witches and covens, openly come against a president? And what, what other president has had so many attacks by the media and by Hollywood elitists? I mean, uh, remember, what's that one lady, uh, Rachel, uh, you know, what, somebody come that one talk show host lady that, you know, she had a dummy of President Trump where he was stabbed and hung or he was bleeding. And, you know, I mean, are you serious? That's not even a joke. I'm sorry. Saturday Night Live SNL cannot even be that that evil. You tell me. You tell me, people of God. What other president has experienced such things like this? You tell me. All right. Um, and I'm telling you right now that, that there is a third day anointing that's coming. Someone say third day. There is a third day anointing that's about to come. Upon President Donald J. Trump, and I prophesy right now that although many people feel depressed, they feel let down, they feel scattered, they feel be betrayed, they feel like, where, where are you, Jesus? Where is your answer? Where is your salvation? Where is your hand? Did we hear you wrong? We were following this movement and we came this far up to this moment and then we were let down. Is this the end? Could this be? But I believe that there's a third day anointing that's about to come. Many of us, we feel down, depressed, and even dead. But praise God, we must rejoice. We must give thanks. Because there's a greater revenue of recompense that God's building up right now. Amen. God right now is releasing a third day anointing. Remember, they thought Jesus was dead. They thought Jesus was finished. But on the third day, the tomb was rolled away. And he rose again from the grave. Praise God. Death cannot hold them down. Curses cannot hold them down. Russia collusion. False impeachment processes. All right. The corrupt FBI. All right. Uh, the farce. Uh, 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 fraudulent uh, uh, voting. All right. The mail-in ballots. N coronavirus. All right. Uh, Antifa. None of these things can bring them down. All right. I'm telling you. There's a third day anointing that's about to come. Bam. Someone say amen. And let me tell you even more so about the third day anointing. All right, Esther chapter 4, 16. Esther 4, 16. The Bible says, go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days. Someone say three days. Ding, ding, ding. Does that sound familiar? A third day anointing. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it is against the law. If I perish, I perish. And what happened there? Their enemy, Haman, was hung on the gallows. This issue was presented and brought to the king in the court. Come on, somebody. The Supreme Court. The highest court of the land. It was brought before the king in the court, this issue, and it was overturned. Some would say overturned. It was brought before the king in the court, and it was overturned. But after three days of fasting, after three days of darkness, after three days of waiting, after three days of feeling like you're in the pit, you're in the loom, you're left behind, you feel abandoned, you feel betrayed, you feel tested in your faith. After three days, come on somebody, revelation came. This issue was brought to the court. Their enemy Haman that was plotting all these evil doings and nonsense against Mordecai, against Esther and the Jewish people of God. All right. It, it, uh, boomerang. Someone say boomerang and a boomerang that the head of Haman. And of course he was executed. Come on somebody. He was executed and he was put down forever. And then everything began to change. 
reform happened. And what happened? Mordecai was honored. Mordecai was honored. Come on, somebody. And I believe that's what's happening right now. I just uh, read that in Pennsylvania. <laughs> My God, someone said amen. And you're not seeing this in the major news. You're not seeing this anywhere on Google. Anywhere on the high, uh, on, on the top, uh, uh, what is it, SCI, SEOs, the, the top searches on the internet. You're not seeing this anywhere. But Pennsylvania right now has gone to the Supreme Court. You know, I know that President Trump released what I, I believe, uh, what, uh, what was it, uh, a thousand or two thousand lawyers or what is, what was it, 20,000 lawyers? No, they're, they're raising 20 million dollars and I think they released 1,000 lawyers in these different swing states to go and expose the corruption and the voter fraud to go into the swing states to make sure that the right ballots are counted. The legal ballots are counted. And uh, I, I think they, they just sent out 1,000 lawyers in these, I'm telling you, get ready for the cavalry. Doo -doo -doo -doo. My gosh, it's coming. It's coming. And uh, right now, Pennsylvania is in the Supreme Court. Right now, the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania, this issue, this case has been brought up to the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. And lo and behold, who knows, it may go up all the way to the highest court of the land, the Supreme Court of the United States. Some would say, Amen. I'm telling you right now, people of God, Trump's going to win. Trump's going to win. All right, amen. I, b I believe there's going to be a third day anointing that's going to come. The Esther's and the Mordecai's will be honored. Every plot and plan will be exposed. And the people who partnered with the corruption are going to be terminated and exterminated. And the Jewish people, the chosen people of God, were blessed, celebrated, and lived in prosperity and peace. They were honored as well. Listen, I believe right now, God still has the upper hand. God still has the last word. There is a trump card that God still has. Remember, in this game of Texas Hold'em, in this game of poker, in this game, God still has a trump card up his sleeve. And I believe right now, people of God, we have seen nothing yet. I believe we're about to take the House. We're, I mean, listen, look at the Senate wins. Pro-life, Republican. And again, I'm, it's not just about, it's not about a party. It's about the policies and the people that embody, that, uh, that embody the, the values uh, of the Bible, of the Word of God, of our Christian faith. But you don't want the prophets to be wrong. You don't want Joe Biden to be president. You don't. All right. So what should you do instead of quickly presuming that the prophets are wrong and quickly coming on Facebook and social media and condemning certain prophets and prophetic voices that they're wrong because Donald J. Trump lost. No, he didn't. The election's not over yet. The fat lady in your in your bedroom has not yet sung. She has not yet even started singing yet. It's not yet over. And I'm telling you, God still has a trump card. All right. God is using this for his good. All right. Shatarabha. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that the Trump family is about to be honored. All right. Just like Mordecai and just like Esther. All right. It's going to, they're going to be honored. And the Jewish people, the people of God are going to rejoice. The Bible says that when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people run and hide. I'm telling you, you don't want the, the prophetic people, you don't want the prophets to be wrong in this. You do not. You do not. So what do you and I need to do? We need to pray. Okay? We need to pray. Don't be anxious. All right? Don't be stressed out. We need to pray. We need to bless the name of God. We need to thank the Lord because there's great reform and change that's happening and taking place right now. I'm telling you, people of God. Jesus is on the throne, and it's so funny. Uh, 
so many pastors and people, you know, in the last few days, they all started with this. We all know that Jesus is on the throne. Well, duh, come on. It's, it's, it's hilarious, okay. I'm telling you right now, there's going to be boomerangs. There's going to be exposure. There's going to be indictments. People are going to go to prison, okay. People, bad people are going to go to prison. These liars are going to go to prison. I'm telling you, okay. President Trump is going to win, okay. And uh, we, what we need to pray for is for Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and these other t uh, domestic terrorist groups, for that to be shut down and for that to be brought low, okay? Because, of course, the enemy has already planned a phase two or a part two, all right, once all of this happens. I'm telling you. But the Lord is on the move. And do not fear, don't be stressed out, people of God. He's not done yet. All right? He's far from being over. Full exposure is about to take place. Full exposure. Someone say full exposure. Full exposure about to take place. And we're seeing it happen. Even in the church right now. It's very sad, very unfortunate. Uh, Pastor Carl Lentz of Hillsong, New York. I've been there. I love that place. I love Pastor Carl Lentz. I respected him. I admired him for how he really broke through such a, a wild city like New York City and the whole region. But of course, there were a number of things that he preached and he did that I did not agree with. But there is a shaking happening. There is exposure taking place. And uh, I'm telling you, in these last two months of 2020, we are about to go out with a big bang. We're about to receive double portion. I'm telling you, the last will be the first. And we are about to end 2020 with signs, wonders, miracles. Mordecai was honored. Mordecai had the robe. Mordecai had the signet ring. Mordecai's enemies were exterminated. Mordecai was blessed. Come on, somebody. Rabata, Robosa. And we're about to see this in the name of Jesus. This is Pastor Ben Lim here. Thanks for watching. Listen, I want you to comment below what spoke to you. Did this make sense to you? Did this minister to you? It's not yet over. The election is not yet over. And get ready, get ready, get ready. God bless you.